Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNP route and T-shoot video practice exam for you. A BGP lightning round. I'm going to present you with that question in about 15 seconds. And as always, it's the dreaded select all that apply. And when it comes to BGP, we know we've just got to have all of these little details down cold to pass the route exam and the T-shoot exam. And let's take a look at one scenario that trips people up a little bit, I found. BGP split horizon. Now we know by the very operation of BGP that it's BGP split horizon is going to work a lot differently than, say, distance vector split horizon. But which of these following BGP route advertisement scenarios will be affected by the rule of split horizon? Is it A, a route received from an internal neighbor and then sent to another internal neighbor? B, a route received from an external neighbor and sent to another external neighbor? C, a route received from an internal neighbor and then sent to an external neighbor? D, route received from external neighbor and sent to an internal neighbor? And yes, I know I left the letters off of this one, A, B, C, D. I thought we had enough letters in there. Just a quick success tip here. Be really careful with these I's and these E's on exam day. Because uh, as we know, sometimes the font can get a little crowded and a little small on that exam screen. So you just got to be careful with that. Now when it comes to BG Split Horizon, there's one scenario here that is affected by that. And it is the most innocent sounding one of all route received from an internal BGP neighbor and sent to another internal BGP neighbor. Can't work. Split Horizon is not going to let that happen. And this is so easy to overlook that anytime I'm working in a lab and, you you know, BGP, you can have it up and running and you can have your connections. We know it's TCP port 179. And you can, you can see some of the routes, but if you don't see all of them that you're expecting to see, the first thing I would check is this very simple rule, because route reflectors can help you get around that. And we talk about that in my CCNP route course on Udemy. Uh, and I've also got some videos here on YouTube to quiz you on that as well. So thanks so much for taking today's CCNP route lightning round question. I want to give you a quick hint. If you stuck to the end of this video, uh, it's going to save you a couple of bucks, because I want to show you something on Udemy and I've got plenty of free courses out there. This is actually what you'll see if you follow the URL I have on the screen. Watch that little U they have between Udemy.com and Chris Bryant. But we've got almost 7,000 people in these courses. I'd love to see you come out and join us. Almost 1,300 in the CCNA course alone. But what I really want to show you is this discount code. Always look at the screen right above Take This Course because there's almost always a really good discount there waiting for you. Thanks again so much for watching today's video and I'll see you tomorrow with another lightning round question. I'm Chris Bryan and thanks for making TBA part of your CCNP success story.